how do you solve a difficult political problem? By pushing it away as far as possible from your gaze, so you can pretend that it's not there. That at least appears to be the European Union's approach. For a year now, the migration crisis has torn at the heart of the EU, creating political tensions between members and uh, questioning the very possibility of freedom of movement within its borders. And that's the background to the deal the EU struck earlier this year with Turkey. Under the terms of the deal, every irregular migrant from Turkey to Greece will be sent back. And there's a, a one-for-one -one agreement by which ev for every Syrian refugee sent back to Turkey, one Syrian refugee will be resettled in Europe from a, a, a refugee camp in Turkey. Now, Donald Tusk called this deal historic. In fact, I think it's deeply immoral. Europe has a population of around 500 million and a per capita GDP of around $30,000. Turkey has a population of about 75 million and a per capita GDP a third of that of the EU's. If the arrival of a million migrants and refugees to Europe is a major imposition and the cause of a major crisis, how does the EU imagine that sending them all back to Turkey will not also be a major imposition? The deal's not historic. It follows a long historic pattern of the EU's migration policies. From the early 1990s, the EU has pursued what you might call a three-pronged strategy when it comes to migration. It's criminalised migrants, it's militarised border controls, and it's outsourced responsibility for uh, migration to non-EU countries. Uh, pay millions of euros to countries, most notoriously Colonel Gaddafi's Libya, but also Morocco, more recently Eritrea, to act as border guards for, for Europe, effectively relocating Europe's borders to beyond Europe. Push the problem away, pretend it's not there. The numbers coming to Europe are indeed large, um, but let's put them in context. A million migrants in Europe constitutes about 0.2% of Europe's population, of the EU's population. Turkey, with a population of seventh of that of Europe, already is host to 3 million Syrian refugees. 20% of Lebanon's population are Syrian refugees. Iran, Pakistan, both hold a million refugees each. If they were to take Europe's attitude to, 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 uh, to migration, there really would be a migration crisis. And that's the most immoral aspect of the EU's policy. The poorest countries in the world already bear the greatest burden when it comes to mi migration, and the EU seems to want to continue that, that, that sense of the poorest countries taking major responsibility for this issue. And that's why I think the deal with Turkey, as the deals with Libya, with Morocco, with Eritrea, are a moral stain on the EU.